friends with chefs. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is any so chef? they can cook me really good meals. You know how like some celebrities are like friends with chefs? And it's like, oh, look, it's so and so oh, at so and so's Gordon, restaurant. You come over. Exactly. That's what I'm gonna manifest. I love it. Strong choice. Hi, Finn and McKenna. Hello. Hello. How are you? Thanks for hanging out with me today. Of course. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. McKenna, how did it feel to return to Phoebe in this movie? And how did you approach her differently in Frozen Empire than you did in Afterlife? It was really exciting to get to come back every time I step onto set as a Ghostbuster. It, you know, is the biggest honor. I still can't believe it every day. Playing Phoebe is so, so incredibly special to me. It makes me so happy. I, I loved getting to step back into playing Phoebe. As soon as I heard, you know, that we were going to be shooting a second one, I was like, okay, this is going to be amazing. Like, I cannot wait to play Phoebe again as a teenager. I care so deeply for this franchise and for Phoebe, so it was very... It was a very happy experience to get to come back. TV Spangler, you stay inside this car. I have a ghost to bust. All right, that was cool. Harry, come on. No, I know, I'm sorry. It's just the way she said it, it sounded cool. Get back in here! I can't hear you over the nuclear accelerator! Now, Finn, you have manifested a lot of your roles. You were a Ghostbuster for Halloween and Stranger Things. You wanted to be on SNL, and now you're in Jason Reitman's new SNL movie. Is there anything that you'd like to speak into the universe today? Let me dip into my psychic power and say... Really think about it, because this could happen. I want to be friends with chefs. <laughs> <laughs> what? Does any chef? So they can cook me really good meals. You know how like some celebrities are like friends with chefs? And it's like, oh, look, it's so and so oh, at so and so's Gordon, restaurant. You come over. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna manifest. I love it. Strong choice. I actually, speaking of food, I recently learned about the wonders of craft service. Yeah. Um, crafty. Yeah. And as someone who snacks a lot, this was fascinating to me. Uh, can you tell me more, McKenna, Finn? What what were you snacking on between takes? I really enjoyed, because we were shooting in London. They had a craft table for the cast, for the American cast. And it was just the junkiest food. Yeah. I, I, it was all it's just chocolate and crunchy, chips. Crunchy bars. And I would well, literally it was like, lived, this is what they think yes, that we eat. Yes. And I was like, I mean, they're not wrong. But it was just very, very funny. It was just piles of... I literally lived on, like, crunchy bars and... Um, the little you loved the freaking caramel things. Curly whirlies? Curly whirlies. Yeah. You always had like a curly whirly in your pocket. That's true. Yeah. That sounds like a candy straight out of Willy Wonka. Um, no, I and, and I had a uh, like the Walker salt and vinegar all the time. Oh, I never tried them. They're really good. They're like glazed. I like the there. um the honey, what are they called? The, that's like my favorite candy in the world now. I whenever I came back like months later for reshoots and put back on my suit, I like, reached into my pocket and there was like three you're kidding. wrappers from London. That's so funny. Yeah, craft service is basically just a ton of a ton of ton of snacks. I need to get in on this craft service thing. So I read that while you all were filming Afterlife, you listened to All Star by Smash Mouth every day on set, which is a fantastic choice. Was there a song on set this time around? We had a bit that was like, do you remember Black that? Blackbird? Oh, yeah, yeah. We all had a Blackbird bit where every time he'd pick up my guitar, he'd go, Blackbird, no, uh, that's not right. Blackbird, sing, no, that's not right. Yeah. <laughs> and like, it would just, you would never get to the actual song. Yeah, it was very fun, very dumb. It's, it's very like, you had to be there, kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I read that the special effects team put a little minty flavor in Slimer's slime yeah. to make it a little less disgusting. Yeah. Were there any other fun production things that the audience wouldn't know about? All the like special effects stuff is really interesting because it's either like you know, I find all the like the minty stuff like interesting or like you That's know like, so gross. All that minty. Minty. Well, no, it's not like it wasn't. It wasn't like um, 
like overpowering. It just had like a like a twin, like a little. I hate that. <laughs> a little something. Just do nothing. Yeah, I know. I thought that it was interesting that we really just had like a freaking seven foot tall man holding a oh, massive yeah. Garaka head on a stick, and that's who played Garaka. He so was he really nice. This very, very, very lovely, very tall man who carried Garaka's head around on a massive stick. Heads up. It's all dark and horny at 12 o'clock. We all went down the fire pole. That's, that's pretty cool. We shot in London and built like an entire block of New York and the entire like full scale firehouse in a warehouse. So that was very cool. Yeah, we drove the Ecto-1 like inside. Dan uh, Aykroyd drove Logan and I in a little motorbike in one of the scenes and like ramped off of a pile of dirt by accident a little bit. So that was funny. Sounds great. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait for everyone else to see it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. For the first time in New York history, people froze to death in the middle of July. What is it? The death chill. The power to kill by fear itself. Your veins turn to rivers of ice. Your bones crack. And the last thing you see is your own tear ducts freezing up. Like, literally scared to death? So cool. Ho, 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 ho.